Hello students, today we are starting a new chapter for class 10 on light, reflection and reflection that is chapter 10 of your textbook. Light is a form of energy. We know the importance of light in our life. Whatever we see around us is because our eyes capture the reflected light from the surface of the object and we are able to see. That is the reason. In dark, where there is no reflected light, we are unable to see the object. Light travels in a straight path. There are two main phenomena associated with light, which we will study. Reflection. Second is the refraction. A polished surface like mirror will reflect the light falling on it. These light rays follow the laws of reflection. First of them is the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. Angle of incidence is the angle made between the normal and the incident ray which is blue in the figure over here and angle of reflection is the angle made by the red ray which is reflected ray and the normal. Second law says the incident ray reflected ray and the normal drawn to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. The four properties of image formed by a plane mirror are number one, image formed is erect and virtual. Number two, size of the image is equal to that of the object. Three, Image formed is laterally inverted. 4. Image formed is as far behind as the mirror. That is the distance of image is equal to distance of object from the mirror. Laterally inverted is explained here by a figure. That means that if left hand side of the image would be same as the right hand side of the object. Plane mirrors are used for the simple reflection. The most common use of plane mirror is looking glass in the wardrobe, dressing table and at the barber's shop. Other uses are to make the periscope used in the submarines where the submarine is below the water level and it has to see the objects above the water level. Kaleidoscope is the toy used by the uh, kids to see various shapes by rotating it. To understand the fundamentals, now let us solve a numerical problem. The problem given here is a ray of light is incident on a plane mirror at an angle of 30 degrees. What is the angle of reflection? Given here is angle of incidence theta i. See the figure and we have to find out the other angle between the normal and the reflected ray that is angle of reflection that is theta r. Now as per the laws of reflection the rule number one says the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection that is theta i is equals to theta r. So we can say that angle of reflection will also be 30 degrees same as angle of incidence that is our answer. So now let us come to the second problem. It says a ray of light strikes a plane mirror at an angle of 50 degrees to the mirror surface. What will be the angle of reflection? There is a slight difference here. We are given now the angle to mirror surface, not the angle to the normal. So we are not given angle of incidence. That is a difference. So let us see what is given. We are given here angle to mirror surface alpha equals to 50 degrees. So we have to calculate angle of incidence. That will be 90 degrees minus 50 degrees because normal is 90 degrees. And there is an incidence ray which divides normal and the mirror surface. So alpha plus theta i would be 90 degrees. And so theta i would be 90 minus 50. Now we have to find 
the angle of reflection that is theta r once the angle of incidence is known we can apply the law of reflection according to which theta i is equal to theta r therefore angle of reflection is 40 degrees that is our answer so we complete this portion of the chapter thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it please subscribe the channel thanks again